Hi, I'm Greg. I'm the lead singer for Lipstick. And I'm Steve. I'm the bassist. What's up, dudes? So we decided to actually hop on the bandwagon of something that's what, relevant and current and Did makes sense. Did you just say bad wagon? Because it wasn't that terrible. Uh, it, it was, you know, all right, mixed, mixed thoughts. The on, mixed uh, wagon. The mixed wagon, as it were. <laughs> Sounds it's probably a racist thing. Uh, when when Dragon Ball Super was airing, I said, you know, we should really just do weekly reviews of these episodes, and then never got around to doing it. But no, new Dragon Ball series. We're gonna do weekly. New Dragon Ball series. New us. New Dragon Ball series. New us. New transformations for lipstick. Just like in this ridiculous eight minute. Greg episode has blue hair show. now. I have blue hair. I'm. You know, much stronger than the old red-haired me. It's I great. have a tail, and my shirt is open to my belly button. Right, we, we've changed a lot. So, Dragon Ball Heroes, the... Super Dragon Ball super Heroes. Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Alpha 2. Alpha 2. Final Mix. <laughs> right, Turbo Edition. Budokai. <laughs> this really just felt Tag like... Tag tournament. <laughs> Alright, this... You know, felt more fighting game than I was expecting it to be. It was very much the setup of a fighting game. <laughs> it's like, by the way, the other six Dragon Balls are all held by powerful fighters that you must beat in one on one combat to claim them to escape from Prison Planet, the prison for planets. Yeah, so for, for those not aware. That was the entire plot of episode yeah, one. Yeah, for, the, for those not aware, Super Dragon Ball Heroes is a promotional online-only anime tie-in for a Dragon Ball video game that isn't available in the West, as far as I know. As translated by Tiddy Sucking. <laughs> yes, by Tiddy Sucking. <laughs> the classiest of... Uh, the classiest <laughs> subtitler. <laughs> right, the classiest subtitler, especially in terms of uh, choosing his name. So... Let's just run through the plot of this episode. Let's just dive straight in. I thought we already did that. We're doing it we're doing it fresh. Okay. Fre- fresh like the prince and Jazzy Jeff. Uh. Scene one, fade in, whatever that place that Beerus right, so, lives. So yeah, that's it's uh, Beerus' home planet. Goku and Vegeta are training. And then future Mai shows up all of a sudden, who lives in a parallel timeline, but just like, hey guys, I'm here. Also, Trunks is in trouble. And then they just mention a line of dialogue like, oh yeah, Trunks did come to this timeline so he could train. I hadn't seen him in a while. And so that explains that I like that he's called Future Trunks too, which is also very fighting game. They weren't just like, Trunks is in trouble. They're like, Future Trunks is in trouble. (laughs) Remember, there are two alternate variations of this character, both with several skins available for $1.99 each on DLC. You know, but in fairness... it, it, it is a separate character in the canon, and there isn't, like, future versions of all the other characters because they're all dead in that timeline. So it's like, hey, alternate timeline, Trunks. And so th- some dude... Yeah. Would you call him that? Just, especially if you came from his timeline, would you be the one who's like, yes, this is my friend Future Trunks? No, you'd just be like... we just call him Trunks. Well, you know, it helps to differentiate from the other Trunks. Then you'd probably come up with clever nicknames. You'd be like Little Trunks. Or, like, Sad Trunks. Terminator 2 Trunks. Or T-Dizzle. <laughs> T- <laughs> T2. <laughs> T is in Trunks 2. So, this this dude named Fu, the purple dude you see in all the intros, like, hey, I'm a friend of Trunks. I've never met you guys before, but I know where he is. You guys should all go to this place called Prison Planet and get him. And Prison Planet is... Such a, a, a this is this is silly even by Dragon Ball standards. They're like, how do we explain the fact that there are multiple different arenas when every planet in the series clearly exists in a single biome? Oh, I know. We'll take half a dozen planets and cram them together, and then have chains around them and call it. Prison so the planet. planets can't escape. Yeah, so you can't escape from Prison Planet, and so Goku, Vegeta, and Mai, who. I like his just a protagonist now after being a villain for many years. Just just a protag now. Oh yeah, she was always like trying to like steal things, right? She was like one of Emperor Pilaf's henchmen, and then got wished to be younger in one of the movies, and then just grew back to being like a teenager around the time of Future Trunks. It's all very confusing. Ah, uh, yeah, it's true. All right, so Goku, Vegeta, and Future Mai go to Prison Planet and are greeted by alternate Goku, a.k.a. GT Goku, which I guess is officially in another timeline. Hashtag Drag Oh, GT is that confirmed. where Super Saiyan 4 comes from, is GT? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Which, 
supposedly takes place after the end of Z, which would just be later in the Dragon Ball Super timeline, but now it's just a different branching timeline. So wait, uh, his plot, his job, as he described it, in, was um, like, you know, multiverse cop, where his job is to, uh, multiverse cop, to trademark uh, lipstick, 2018, right. do not steal. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so he's described himself as, um, so this this GT Goku that shows up describes himself as space time protection cop who goes around punching out time travelers, right? Is that actually what he does in GT? No. Oh. Now I guess it's I'm not- what he does in this video game, apparently. But wait, you're you're skipping ahead. The two Gokus meet each other, and rather than talk, they just start fighting. Like, I see another Goku, I need to fight him. So Goku turns Super Saiyan Blue, and the other Goku turns Super Saiyan 4, and we finally get the answer to the question of which transformation is stronger. A hard, maybe, we don't know. We don't actually resolve that debate. Better buy the game! <laughs> Better buy the game! Wait, so... The instinctive reaction of Gokus upon meeting each other is just fight, see who's strongest. And... Dragon Ball GT starts off with Goku being turned back into a child, right? Right. But when he turns Super Saiyan 4, he turns into an adult. So he has a similar power level as a reverted child. Um, But but then he also becomes an adult later, Mm -hmm. which means that that particular Goku is not going to have any sort of check on that fighting other Goku's instinct, which says, wait, this version is Kid Goku. He probably hasn't trained much. I'd better not destroy him with fireballs from space. But also remember, this Goku, when you saw him, wasn't a kid anymore. He was an adult and then turned Super Saiyan 4. But he's aware of the fact that Kid Goku's uh, of power levels comparable to his own can exist meaning that instinct to fight other Gokus will not be tempered by childhood. Whereas OG Goku might, like, see a kid Goku and say, I'd better make sure this is a, this kid is trained up before I try to test my strength on him, because, like, I remember when I was a little kid and couldn't even fly or shoot fireballs, if somebody at my level showed up and just punted me into the sun, it would be game over, and that would be super wake, weak, and not even a good test for that real Goku. Right. But this Goku knows that Kid Goku can be strong. So he's not going to have that instinct. He's going to be like, oh, a Kid Goku. He's probably really strong, too. I'd better punt him into space. (laughs) And he's a time traveler, so he's likely to encounter childhood versions of himself. So the the two Gokus Gokus fight, and nothing gets resolved. And then Fu shows up like, ha ha, I tricked you into being here. Turns out I'm actually a villain. And I gathered you here so I could watch you fight in one-on-one fights because it's cool. Greatest experiment ever. Also, nuh-uh, he's not a villain. He's a super awesome guy. You're right. He's, he, he did say that. He's, he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He's a super awesome guy. And he gathered them there to fight so he could t- collect data on their fighting. And then... Trunks wakes up in the the DLC city pack and uh, runs out and is confronted by fourth form cooler, which is only canon in the movies and GT. But this this series doesn't care about canon. This is straight up just like, here's some cutscenes for the video game. And it's like, <laughs> oh no, it's fourth form cooler, who I should be way stronger than according to like any logical cohesion. But whatever it's fighting game logic so somehow we're on equal playing field and then mr evil saiyan shows up at the end in the lab and it's called mr evil saiyan by foo and that's the end of the episode so mr evil saiyan isn't an established character right he is a new character that's supposed to appear in a new movie coming out in the fall but is also appearing in the game i'm expecting that in the movie it'll actually be a well done by dragon ball standards portrayal of his character and this series that we're getting right now is just a sloppy, hastily made fan service mess. But you know what? I just love it for just existing as it is. I do love that you keep on referring to it as fan service, whereas in most anime fan service is like, oh no, it's an upskirt shot of the main female character. Not, like fan not- service in Dragon Ball Z is <laughs> different versions of Goku fighting each other. <laughs> You know, say what you will. I don't know what is worse in terms of uh, humanity. I mean, I'd probably rather see the Gokus punching each other than, you know, more cleavage on teenagers, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, you're, you know, you're fully into America now, so violence over sex all the time. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. 
Violence, but, violence, violence, violence. <laughs> violence. Happy Fourth of July in Canada Day, everybody. Yay. But, you know, at the, at the end of just this, I think I'm happy for it existing because this is the first Dragon Ball series that is just full on not caring about canon in the slightest and just doing just balls to the wall insanity. You know what? Like, yeah, here's cooler. Here's Super Saiyan 4 Goku versus Blue Goku. Why, why not? We don't care. And I admire it for that because GT cared about canon. Whether or not people consider it to be canon is up to debate, but they did care about continuity and canon and establishing stuff from the lore. I feel like this retcons GT so that it is, in fact, an alternate universe. They're both canon now. Yeah, so this is basically Dragon Ball has gone full Marvel. We're just like, yeah, it's all canon. Flip a table. None of it makes sense. Have fun. You thought you had one continuous storyline? Not anymore. Chaos and anarchy. 15 years from now, we're going to release a book to explain it a la Zelda. They've already done that. Okay. We're going to release another, I guess. Right. But yeah, uh, that's the episode. Uh, it was eight minutes, so I not really much to say. I'm impressed. We've been talking for 12. Yeah. We talked more about the episode than the episode than they itself. spent making the episode. Yeah, so um, I don't know. I'll give it a solid three out of five. Are we scoring things now? Uh, Why not? I don't know. Uh, there was a, the ratio of punching to talking was very good, so four out of five. Oh, all right, Steve liked it better than I did. All right, well, thank you. That is our first review of Super Dragon Ball Heroes. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment about how much you like us and subscribe to us. <laughs> and please subscribe to your comments about liking us. Yes. And also please check out our video of our cover of Chala Head Chala. We did live action Dragon Ball Z. I got punched through a mountain. It was pretty cool. Uh, according to the new game, it's also canon. Yeah. So, uh... Really, I am stronger than Super Saiyan 4 Goku. It's, yep. it's canon. It's official. Whether or not he's stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku is still that's, up in that's the air. Still up. I'm really... I'm watching the, the, the Dragon Ball message board just um, really close because there's some debate in the power level theory as to whether or not uh you know greg is stronger than super saiyan blue goku so depends but, on if he has his hat on or yeah, not. yeah it's based upon the battle i had with uh metal cooler that that's where it got really confusing all right that's our <laughs> that's our review bye